Beavers are the best damn housing developers in the animal world, creating homes for thousands of neighbors with the construction of every dam and every lodge. Well, my name is Rich Hanlon, and for this segment of My Wild Neighbors, I welcome you to the banks of the Susquehanna River. There's a beaver lodge right across from me on the other side of the river today, and I'd like for us to spend some time together and take a look and see what uh, what the river beavers are up to this evening. There's the beaver's lodge, and there's a beaver swimming right in front of it. All right, let's hop in our boat and head over for a closer look. Here we are at the beaver lodge on the other side of the river, and you can see this massive pile of branches behind me and some of these branches still have the bark on them like this one and some of them like this one have the bark totally removed why is that well that's because um, branches of trees are a uh, are a limited resource for beavers like uh, you can think of it like currency uh, they got to use some of it for uh, building and maintaining their home, some of it for fortifying their home, and some of it for eating, for food. And, uh, and so they'll, they'll actually uh, take, oh, and there's a slug on this one too. <laughs> Hello, sluggo. <laughs> um, so they'll take, they'll take these branches, and, uh, and some of them are used uh, to build this lodge. This is where they live. Some branches that are particularly delightful to eat, uh, some of their favorites are in the, the trees in the poplar family, they'll actually take those those branches while the with with bark still on them and bury them under the water. Stick them in the mud. It's kind of like putting your food in the refrigerator to save it for later. Uh, and they'll they'll uh, you know when when resources are limited, especially in the winter, they'll go underwater into their store their storage bin uh, to get those those poplar branches like a big tooth aspen. There's a lot of that along the river. They probably have some of that stored under there, uh, and uh, and they'll they'll eat the the living what was once the living layer, uh, just the bark and and the just beneath it. Uh, but they'll leave the the kind of woody skeleton structure, and uh, they'll even some, use some of that later to help build their lodge. You may wonder, well, Rich, where's the dam? Well, these beavers they live along the river, and so. Uh, even if they tried to build a dam, it wouldn't hold. Uh, so beavers that uh, live at lakes build dams to create the lakes, but beavers that live along the river tend to do kind of just like this. They build a lodge along the bank, uh, and, uh, and they, they don't even seem to attempt to build a dam. That's just not part of their lifestyle if they live along the river. But if these same beavers had to leave this area, and, and they, they could go to a, to a, a, a creek, dam it up, create their own pond. Uh, it's the same species, whether the beaver lives at the river or at a pond. Uh, it's just a matter of how they choose to make use of the, the limited resources of wood that's at their disposal of different species of trees. So let's uh, sit quietly on the bank and see if uh, some of these river beavers might uh, come out to give us a good look at them. If you're North America's largest rodent and you sustain yourself on a vegetarian diet, it turns out you've got to eat a lot of fresh greens in addition to the wood and the bark. This particular beaver seems very interested in the fresh and young shoots and leaves of sycamore trees along the river's banks. Done with that branch, now it's on to the next one. One of the things I love about beavers is that the dams and lodges they create help to provide space for other neighbors in their community. Here's a great blue heron hanging out on top of the beaver lodge. Now, beavers will actually allow animals like muskrats and some others to live inside the lodge with the beavers. And there's also some reptiles and amphibians that can be found sometimes inside of the beaver lodges too. Here's a family of turtles basking out clo close enough in proximity to the lodge that I wonder <laughs> if they might hang out in the lodge as well. Now you know why beavers are the best damn housing developers in the animal world. And you understand a thing or two about how 
Beavers use the gifts that they've been given to help create space for others in their community. And I don't know about you, but the beavers inspire me every time I see them to think about how, how I, uh, by, by gifting the world with inspiration, education, and service, uh, asking how can I uh, share these gifts in ways that create space for others in my community. Well, thanks so much for joining me along the banks of the Susquehanna River this evening. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.